So what we have here is the barrel of the plastic injection molding machine, the IMM. And you can see here's heater bands on here. I did another video on heater bands. And here's the nozzle. It's got heater bands as well. And then there's a tip over there. Now the diameter of the, the tip, sometimes they change it for different jobs. Sometimes they'll even change out the nozzle. And the, the heater bands, you can adjust the heat settings based on, on the job. That's all engineering stuff. I'm not really uh, into the whole engineering thing. But you see right here, this, this right here, this is plastic. It's still a little bit flexible. You see down here, this is solid. This, it looks, this is solid. So this is what they call purge. This is the plastic that is inside the barrel that you see some of the plastic pellets right here in the hopper. They go down. You can't really see for the aluminum shielding here, but through the barrel, there's a screw in there. It's got different flights of the screw, and as the screw rotates, the plastic moves forward and injects out the end of the barrel into the back half of the mold after the mold is closed and it fills the mold to make the part. Well, from time to time, whether we change material or we're shutting the machine down, say for the weekend, or the machine has been sitting idle for a while, we've got to purge the old material out of the barrel. So I shot some footage of me purging a little bit of material out of the barrel during maintenance, during routine monthly maintenance on the machines. It, it's, the process techs are the ones who do all the purging, but sometimes I can purge a little bit of material when I'm doing checks on the machine. So the rest of the video just shows you what it looks like in general when you purge the material. Obviously I don't purge this much out of the machine. And these things, they kind of look like sculptures. You'll see that at the end of the video. But before I show that footage, I wanted to show you here. It shows the throat. It shows the heater bands on the barrel. Every time it lights up in pink, that's electricity flowing to it to heat it up. These are the temperatures, the actual temperatures of each of these zones in the barrel. And down here you can see the set point everything is at. So at one point the te temperature gets all the way up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit before the plastic comes out of the end of the barrel. And usually the temperatures we run are about 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit for most of the jobs, most of the different materials. So let me open up the purge shield here. You can see here's the nozzle and tip at the end of the barrel. There's some material that's solidified. It's purged out of the machine. You can see the heater bands on the nozzle tip. Here I'll go ahead and cut this purge material off. You can see it's solid at this point. Here's another machine from a different angle. You'll see vapor come out of the end of the, the tip here of the nozzle in just a moment, followed by some material. There's the vapor. And there's the material. It'll solidify in a few minutes. Here we have another machine, another angle. That pop you heard was a pocket of air in the barrel, and that's pretty normal. And the material is cooling off. Here it is. Here's a pile of it that one of the process techs did on one of the bigger machines. You can see this is significantly larger. Larger diameter tip, larger machine, larger barrel, I mean everything. And you can see the smoke coming off of it. And you see how it looks kind of like a sculpture? Some sort of modern art piece. 
I'll go ahead and uh, poke it with here this, this brass tool. You can see it's still flexible, but it is hot, hot to the touch. So I hope that explained a little bit about what barrel purge is with the plastic injection molding process and gives you a little bit more of an idea of, of what I do at work. Thanks for watching.